President Obama pledging on the campaign trail to change the way Washington does business. But the Washington Examiner's Tim Carney is uncovering another way the president is breaking that pledge. It involves their friends at Google. Uh, Tim, basically, the president has a long standing relationship with Google. Uh, Google CEO Eric Schmidt was a fundraiser advisor for Obama's campaign. I guess they gave about $830,000 all told in every way to the Obama mm -hmm. campaign. That's about 40 times what McCain uh, was given. So what has Google got for their money? The deputy chief technology officer in the White House is a man named Andrew McLaughlin, who had been the head of government affairs and global public policy at Google. Basically, he was the chief lobbyist, but he wasn't registered as a lobbyist, so that allowed him to skirt some of the Obama rules. But emails came out through a Freedom of Information Act request by a, a group called Consumer Watchdog that showed McLaughlin going back and forth with Google's lobbyists, their official lobbyists and their unofficial lobbyists, about policy matters directly relating to Google, All right. where the White House and Google agreed. Let, let us put up, I think we have some of those uh, emails that we can put up on the screen, one between uh, this guy, uh, who, who is Surf, C-E-R-F? Yes, Vint Surf. One of the guys who actually did invent the internet, um, but Google <laughs> has hired him, and his official job title there is great. He's the Internet Evangelist. Okay, well, let's I read this. Surf says, Surf says to McLaughlin, has there been so much flack from the Hill that you guys feel a need to back away? McLaughlin answers, don't be silly. No one's backed away from anything. What are they talking about? They're talking about regulation on net neutrality. In brief, regulations to make sure that networks like AT&T and Verizon can't start charging Google more than they already are for the way these uh, companies interact on the Internet. The White House supports the regulation, Google supports the regulation, and uh, Google was worried that, or Vince Cerf was worried, that the White House was going to back off of pushing this regulation. All right, there's also the question of neutrality, what's it called, net neutrality, you know, net that, neutrality, uh, yeah. that, that basically, correct me if I'm wrong, but what it basically means is, look, if I have, if I'm one of these big internet <laughs> companies, and I not only handle one of the servers, but I also have stuff on the server, I'm not going to give the same amount of time to my competitors on the net. Uh, that I would to my own stuff, right? So, but you have to have that neutrality if you operate one of these servers. Have I got it about right? Well, yeah, it's a, the networks would be restricted in their ability to. The main issue is could they charge more for certain types of information than for other types of information? And if you're a content provider, you don't want the rules changing from the way they are now. Right. If you're Google or eBay or Microsoft, and so they wanted the rules now set into regulation. If you're so have there Verizon, been any signs that the Obama administration is doing what Google wants here? Oh, and well, they, I mean, maybe signs yeah, that openly. they had access to the administration getting what they want. Well, and that's exactly what those Vint Cerf emails were about, and the, that Google, um, the Obama administration is very open. The head of the FCC, uh, Julius Janikowski, has been very open about pushing one way or another to regulate, put these rules in effect that Google wants, and that will profit Google, and that's exactly what Vint Cerf was talking about in those emails there. Tim, is anybody calling for a full-blown investigation of this? Well, Daryl Issa, who, uh, congressman from California, sure. who's come out to be sort of the the Republicans' best uh, watchdog in, in Congress right now, he's calling for more of an investigation because the White House did admit that McLaughlin in, they, they still defend the Vint Cerf emails because he's on some government advisory panel. But hmm. another, other emails were with an actual lobbyist who's not on a government advisory panel, and the White House has reprimanded McLaughlin for that. But what does a reprimand mean? Um, and what are their policies going forward? What other exchanges are going on that haven't been brought out into the light? And that's a lot of what ISA is asking for. And, and bottom line is, I mean, you know, talk about these restrictions against lobbying. This is, this is a, as flagrant a violation of that promise oh. as you can get. A absolutely. You have a, an, a lobbyist talking to his former colleague, a former lobbyist, yeah. about a policy that directly affects Google, yeah. and, uh, and you know, it's a slap on the wrist is all they get. Uh, we're, well, for that conversation, there wasn't even a slap on the wrist. But we've seen, I mean, Treasury uh, Chief of Staff was a former Goldman lobbyist. It's all over the place in this administration. Tim Carney, Washington Examiner. Always great to see you, Tim. Thanks very much.